I absolutely love amplifier boards like this. I have a project that I really want to use this on. There's only one problem. Putting it in like this is not going to work. I need something that looks a lot nicer. And building a case for this, I think I just got the perfect tool in. That's going to make this look really good. Here, let me show you. This is the Ortor Laser Master 3, and this is going to be the only tool that I'm going to be using to make this amplifier case. This is an Aurelic 2.1 amplifier board that is feature packed. It can power, of course, two speakers and a subwoofer. It also has Bluetooth on it, aux in, it even has USB with a DSP, and has whole house wireless streaming. I mean, talk about an amazing amplifier board. Now typically I'd have to design this all from scratch, figure out where all the potentiometers go, all the back plates and everything else. But luckily with this, I found a design already made on Thingiverse. I just had to bring it into SketchUp, make a few alterations and modify it until I felt like it was going to be perfectly cut out out of wood with the Ortur laser. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and get these files out to the workshop Fire up the laser. Perfect. Oh, that's a nice piece of cherry. That will work. What is this? Now, some of you guys who are used to the channel know that I have this. This is a CNC machine, and you're probably wondering why I didn't use a CNC on a small project like this. And honestly, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. The laser makes a lot more sense. Let me show you why. Now, with the CNC, we have a router bit like this, and what you'll notice is that the bit itself has a radius, and that radius is really the smallest that you can cut inside corners. But when we have a design like this on this type of box, you'll notice that we have almost very perfectly flat square edges that make this look really unique and, in my opinion, cool. The laser can do that without any type of different tooling. The laser is definitely the way to go with a project like this. Yeah, I'm sitting here in my office right now while the laser's out there working for me. And that's one of the things I love about this laser. It could be doing its job cutting while I come in here and get all my other work done or, well, take a break. Either one is good with me.
So now that it's all together, we need to do some sanding on it. I do have to also figure out how I'm going to keep this rear on. Uh, originally, what I was going to do was actually glue some pieces in here and screw this on, but this is such a tight fit that I don't think I have to do anything to it. Just put it in at the end. Let's just double check and make sure by doing a test fit. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Literally. Couldn't have asked for it any better. So yeah, no magnets, nothing needed. And I can get to this anytime. Holds in place. Let's sand it. Let's do a test fit. Perfect. Perfect. All right, time to finish. So technically we could be done with these potentiometer knobs for the amplifier, but honestly, I didn't really like the looks. It was just a little bit too rigid. And so I thought maybe if I took a little bit of sandpaper and touched up on the sides, we'd give it that more homemade look. And boy, did it deliver. This Odie's oil is not only great looking, but it is probably the easiest finish I have ever put on anything. You literally just buff it in, wait about an hour, Wipe off the excess, and that's it. You're done. And you can't tell me, this just does not look beautiful. Honestly, this amplifier came out even better than I originally anticipated. It is phenomenal. I absolutely love the cherry and the walnut together. I just think it came out perfect. And I can see for sure where this laser is going to come in handy for other projects like this. The only thing I will say about this is this was a really nice tight fit, but after a while of pushing on it, this has come loose. So I will have to figure out a way to secure this probably with some screws in the back. Otherwise, I think this has come out great. You tell me what you think in the comments below.